Hey YouTube, how you doing? Just Joy here. Well, making another video for Heroes of Order and Chaos. And today I am going to give you the in-game build for Citrix. Yeah, I know some of y'all been asking about this for a little while. And yes, the Citrix has become such an awesome OP mage. So let's get on and get into this nasty venomous spitting dog. So... First off, I'm going to start with, always, since Asidrix is a, uh, may at the DOT AOE mage, uh, we're going to start off with some Squire's Wisdom, his magical damage, and that's the reason. Now, if you're not using Asidrix, I'm going to talk to him more like he's in Rift. If you're not going to use him in mid lane, uh, I would, you're always going to start off with this cloak right here, the Clo Leviathan cloak, the reason you're going to start off with this is because the 20 points of magical pierce as well as the attack damage after that, I typically buy some boots of haste. But I do want to make a distinction. If I'm doing very well in the beginning of the game, sometimes I like to go straight for the Enchanter's Ring. It is awesome with the Cedrix and that spit with his range so but if I'm having a little bit of trouble and I can't buy that enchanter's ring it's okay to go ahead and buy the ruby ring because you just need that damage to help benefit you over the allotted time now after this I want to start stacking as much damage as I possibly can so we get in and I try to buy a secondary enchanters but if I'm unable to, I uh, go ahead and I'll start buying into the Helm of Divine Bearer, which is that ruby ring we are going to go into. After that, I typically sell this, and I'm trying to get more as much pierce damage as I possibly can. So we're going to uh, go here in a magical... Uh, MP, we're gonna get a Staff of Exaltation to give us that MP that we use drastically with him because we want to spam his first skill. After that, I go ahead and build it into a Searing Orb, which I don't know what happened there. A Searing Orb, now this just gives me, maximizes that attack and plus 30% pierce through magical enemies, magical defense. This is where I start off. After this, you should be starting to stack them kills beautifully. We buy that Enchanter's Ring again. And by this point, uh, you don't have to, but if you really need to, you're going to need some boots. I typically go for the Boots of Firewalker just because of the extra magical damage, but Chain Boots is very good as well. Uh, so we're going to get that fires wa Firewalker Boots. Now, typically after this, I go ahead and sell my Squire's Wisdom because I need some defense, especially if there's an elf or uh, something like that giving me a lot of pressure. And I want to start building into the uh, Spider Queen right here. And the reason is because of the reduction in attack speed. When somebody hits me, this is a very good skill for him. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this Raven's Mail. Also, finish off this skill right here. This uh, uh, Tower's Scepter. And then I'm going to finish it into the Spider Queen. Now, like I said, 70 physical defense plus extra magical attack is very good for him. Now, if you're needing a little bit of extra protection or something like that, you're going to start building that HP. I like to do a Cloak of Dragon's Blood. And then I later on bump that all the way up to the steering souls of dragons but you can go ahead and do that right now i like going ahead and benefiting you and doing that so i'm going to go ahead and get in the steering souls of dragons after that i finish off buying the lollipop the reason is maximizing my damage of course and giving me that 10 percent extra movement speed is amazing with him after that as it always is maximizing that damage so we're going to finish off into the Bone Flame Wand. Now, we don't really use the maximum passive 4 MP of the Bone Flame Wand. We use it for the 3% magic uh, increase of the MP, magical attack increase of the MP. So this 
is a little bit of a, a good thing to have. Plus, of uh, uh, the that magical damage is just insane. So guys, tell me what you think of this build. I also have another full no defense build for him. Now I do want to go ahead and tell you that you can switch the Spider's Queen off, of course, for another physical defense item, such as the Hades or the Helm of Divine Favor. As I showed y'all earlier, which is right well, it's easier to find it in magic than it is. Helm of Divine Favor. Now you gotta be cautious because it's an activate. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, I will show you a maximum DPS carry build, or not DPS, a maximum uh, DOT uh, area of effect build for him coming soon. So thanks for watching. Don't forget the talents are right at the tablets are right after this, and my recommended talents will be down in the description below. Destroyer out. Hey YouTube, how you doing, Destroyer? Here, gonna quickly go over some tablets real quick that I suggest and recommend for a Cedrix. Now, first off, I want to talk about inscriptions. The best kind of inscriptions I like using with them is Pierce Through Magical Defense and uh, HP inscriptions. This is gonna drastically help you early game with the HP and late game with the pierce through magical defense but if you don't have enough pierce through magical defense the physical or magical attack inscriptions is good so well, let's get in I always use elder tablet now this is a very good tablet especially for mages because we stack as you just saw a lot of damage in on uh, uh, a Cedrix and over time you know that's gonna help us protect ourselves against the physical uh, DPS such as hunter or elf uh, another one I always use with most of my heroes now is the tablet of blood freeze it's a must-have tablet if you don't have it you need to get it um, also the tablet of assistance now I always have this one on there because I can always get in there port save save somebody it's very good. Now I have a couple other recommendations. I like uh, using the toxicity tablet with him. It's uh, not toxicity, I'm sorry, the tablet of incineration. It's pretty good but not one of my favorites. Those first three I just showed you were my favorites. Uh, a couple others that I do suggest and I'm looking for just one in particular here we go the protective tablet I love this if you want to go as most offensive as you can with the Cedrix you do protective blood freeze and the uh, elder tablet it's it gets to a point where it's very hard to kill them in mid game so guys gals tell me what you thought about this build I'll have the recommended uh, inscription or uh, talents in the description below and uh, I'll see you out in the Battle of Herodon. Destroy out!